Welcome to Electron Line, and now that we think we know permutations and combinations, let's do an example out of the blue like this. Let's say someone came along and says, we have seven people, there's only five seats, in how many different ways can we arrange them? What are the number of combinations where order does not matter? And what are the number of permutations where order does matter? All right, so with combinations, we write K, uh, not K, but C. C, when we have N number of people, with only k number seats. So in this case, that would be c when you have seven people and we have, well, let me write the general equation down first. That might be better. So the general equation for this would be that we have n factorial divided by n minus k factorial times k factorial. So in our example here, we know that n is seven and k is five. So the combinations when we have seven people with five seats is equal to seven factorial divided by 7 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. So this becomes equal to 7 times 6 times 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 5 factorial. So notice that this 5 factorial will cancel out the bottom five numbers in the multiplication. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, multiply together. So this cancels out. We're left with 6 and 7 in the numerator. 2 factorial is equal to 2. So this cancels out to 3, this becomes 1, and so the number of combinations is 21. If you have 7 people and 5 seats, there's 21 different ways in which they can be seated if the order doesn't matter. Number of permutations. The number of permutations when you have n people and we have k number seats is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all the way down to n minus k plus 1. In our example, since n is equal to 7 and k is equal to 5, we have 7 minus 5 plus 1, that would be 2 plus 1, which is 3. So here we're going to multiply 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. So we have the permutations when we have 7 seats, uh, not 7 seats, but 7 people, and 5 seats is equal to Again, another way to think about this, we're going to multiply 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 and so forth. There's only going to be 5 numbers. So it's 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. There's 5 numbers. And again, the last number should be 3 like we discovered here. Now we just have to multiply those out, see what we get. So this is equal to, that would be 30 times 3 is 90 times 4 is 360. So 360 times 7 which is equal to 2100 plus 7 times 6, that would be 420, which is equal to 2520 different ways in which you can seat 7 people on 5 seats if the order does matter, and you can then rearrange them a number of times to get a total of 2520. That's a big number. But that's how we do combinations and permutations with 7 people and 5 seats.